Hello everyone, Dr. Smith, physical therapist and law student here. I actually recently resigned from my job after grinding for a few years, making a lot of money, investing, creating online products. And today I wanna to break down how to professionally resign from your job as a physical therapist. I feel that many of you can benefit from this information. I'm also going to include a template in the description below. You click that link, you get the template. Now, before I get into this, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, Make sure that you turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any new content. And if you like this channel, like the content, want more one-on-one -on -one with me, there actually now is a Patreon catering just to that, and I'll post that link below. I will also share my resignation template during the majority of this video, so if you do not want to download the file, you can just pause this video and use this template that's on screen right here. Now, believe it or not, this is the first job I've ever resigned from professionally. Usually people piss me off, I quit that day. They asked me to commit Medicare fraud in the past, I quit that day on ethical concerns. I've never actually given a two week notice. I've either been fired or just left. Now, as a professional, you don't really want to do that. I think in PT, it doesn't actually matter unless you're working in a small town and continue to work in a small town. But as a professional, if you're gonna use them as a reference in the future, say if you're going into travel, this is the way to do it. And we'll just go through the template so I can show you exactly the way that I did it. Now, of course, if you work in person, obviously have a meeting with your boss, sit down and talk to them. It's much better than a phone call. However, if you're a home health provider like I am, it's best to do it in a written format like this. Then also CC our regional manager, etc. So everyone knows and you're actually making the transition easier for them. What you're going to do is put your boss or supervisor's name, then explain what it is. We can see here, it's a notification that I or you, if you're using this template, are resigning from your position at the end of a certain month. You're gonna put a specific date as your end work date. You're also gonna say your aiding and therapy need to your transition out. You're gonna be thankful. You're gonna wish them success. You're gonna ask what to expect. And don't be surprised if they tell you that you're just gonna be done. And I will get into that in a second. But when you do this, you're gonna give a time frame. but don't be surprised as soon as you send this, it's your last day. So be prepared for that. And again, in this situation, I gave around 30 days advance notice as an extra courtesy to the company because I know therapists are hard to find in this current area. If it's not that way where you are, you can do 14 days your email, your phone, and this is personal email, personal phone, and then your name. So it's very, very simple, and this way it's very professional at the same time. Now you may be in a toxic workplace, a toxic culture, and you're fired immediately. But let me get into what I did before I actually resigned. So if we go into my course, this is actually on the low end, we can see the last 30 days, I've made about four grand, usually it's four to six K, but I average about four to six K every 30 days. So my passive income right now, is between 70 to $100,000 a year. And again, if you do sign up for this course through the end of May, you actually can win $500. And then eventually as the Patreon grows as well, I'll be doing more cash prizes there and investing. But so I already had another source of income. I did not resign until this was consistent for about six months. You want to have at least three to six months of savings unless you're going to travel or a higher paying position, just as a safety net in case they tell you to resign immediately. The main reason I resigned is I've grinded and I've hustled for the past three years. I've never made less than $100,000. I've saved, I've invested, I have passive income sources. And actually at this point in my life, working for somebody else is a detriment to my own income. Now, even in my home health course, I will tell you, get a job, grind, work. But after three to five years, you're going to need to then start investing or invest that whole time so you can start and grow your own business. Now, many of you watching this video are probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? But realistically, if you're not in the situation or you're not aiming to get in the situation, you will not be in this situation. You actually want to make as much money as you can so you can then funnel that money into your own business. I can truly say that working for somebody else was actually a detriment to my own personal income, my own personal growth. Since I've quit my job, I've been making about a thousand dollars a day. And I was not doing that with my job. I know there's security benefits, it's all a lie. I think deep down, if you do not feel like you are a good employee, then you need to be a business owner. Now that all being said, once I had finances lined up, 
a plan in place, and a few other things is when I resigned. I actually am still working through the end of the month because I work for a company that not only pays me well, but values their employees. So I actually still am working through the end of the month, even after this resignation letter, but this is how you do it professionally. You do it this way, you're grateful, but also don't just go resign because you're watching this video. Make sure you have a safety net built up. If you don't join the Patreon, we can work on increasing your income or take my course, get paid more in home health. At this point, I do not think that becoming a doctor of physical therapy is worth it unless you know how to grind and start your own business. I know it's kind of dark and deep and kind of all over the place, but if you like this content, let me know. Please comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.